If you're looking for a new school home for your child and your family, then School of the Cathedral wants to welcome you. In fact, they've been doing a lot of that recently. From the youngest we love we love cathedral. Cathedral. to the oldest. It's um, a great environment. Students at School of the Cathedral are quick to sing the praises of their school. Ever since I've gone here, I've always really liked it. The School of the Cathedral has been around for more than 150 years, and it continues to grow in all of the right ways. We've just started a new pre-K-4 program, and it has, um, we have a wait list for it now, so we are full this year. Wow, what do you think was part of that uptick in enrollment? I think it was our current families, was, was primarily they liked that one-stop drop, so they were very excited to bring their youngest into Cathedral to join their siblings. Um, I think it was, um, we have a really good program academically, it's preparing them for our kindergarten program. Um, so I think that is a positive thing for, for parents that is, there are some fun things that they do, but they are also learning a lot. We are planning on possibly adding another pre-K program, which is very nice. Um, we also have a pre-first program, which has enhanced um, a lot of the kids from K through first, giving them an opportunity to grow a little bit more, gift of time. Um, I think we're also doing some activities for uh, our new parents. Uh, we have an orientation that we did this year for the first time that was very well attended. And we're also doing some other uh, middle school activities. We're having shadow days for fifth graders and fourth graders this year, which is, which is brand new, um, in addition to the step up program that they do. So I think we're doing a lot of things to try to um, make it exciting here and keep growing. Piper Evans is a sixth grader at School of the Cathedral and just transferred here this year. She says she loves her teachers and even joined the soccer team. Were you nervous about starting a new school? Um, a little bit because I didn't really know much people, but then the first day um, everybody kind of greeted me and they welcomed me to my class and everyone was just very nice to me. It sounds like you settled in really easily and quickly. Yeah. So what would you say to someone that is looking for a new school home? Um, I would say try your best and if you're scared to try it, just give it a try. Unlike Piper, 7th grader Brady Burgess and his siblings have been a part of the school for years now. We have so many friends and like family friends that go here. Being comfortable at the school, it helps me learn and um, like asking questions because sometimes if you're not comfortable, then you can be scared to ask questions. It's a learning environment in which children feel heard and encouraged to expand and grow in their studies. So we try to prepare our students to be 21st century learners. We're very excited that we have um, our students engaged with Chromebooks and iPads. So all students have access to that. Um, and that really does help them prepare for a world that's full of technology right now. We also have electives for our middle school students and that takes them outside of that academic realm and it gives them an opportunity to experience something that they may not partake in if they were in doing an academic subject. So some examples are, you know, they could sign up for knitting, they can sign up for baking. Um, we have a faith and formation or faith and culture elective. So it kind of takes them outside of that comfort zone of having an academic subject. It also allows them um, to intermingle between grades six, seven, and eighth. So they're not just grouped by their grade level, they're grouped within the middle school. In addition to getting a Catholic-based, top-notch education, Principal Rosanna Zarnicki says that the school is sure to shape their civic engagement as well. It's more than just the academics. The academics are extremely important, but it's about service, right? How can we give back to the people in our community? So this year, um, the intermediate teachers have established what we've called pods, and the pods do certain team-building activities just to grow friendships and to build bonds. Um, and then they're also involved in different service initiatives Today they worked on um, casseroles to give to our daily bread um, and then we also partner with other charities um, to donate canned goods, food, things like that so that they can feel like active members of the community. Both without and within school walls. What makes the cathedral stand out the most is that we're grounded in tradition, definitely, um, but we foster that spiritual love and that care. We truly are a family. We're large enough but we're small enough um, that everyone gets that personal touch and that they feel like they're a part of a family and a community. 
If you want to take a closer look at School of the Cathedral, then mark your calendars for October 11th and November 15th. Those are the dates of the open houses. Just go to schoolofthecathedral.org for more information. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.